You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, You'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpets are priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? Yes, the chief said it may be a while. I can see you don't mind getting your hands dirty, though. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. You don't bleed? That's okay. Sometimes life is just a stream of coincidences. Hi, I'm Bromwood. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. So, what's your question, Sam? <laughs> the Fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? But enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? 
Good. We're neighbours. Just knock if you need me. It wouldn't eat me, at least for now. It needed help with its camouflage. form was an approximation of its first victim, a homeless lady named Bethany. Bethany had lived the life of addiction, survived. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector DuPont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw, 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, and I'll help you. You don't get that. There's no badge and gun, just a hope and a promise. Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? as thick as thieves, covering for each other. Well, except the male one. You'll see what I mean. In her bedroom, she was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Ah, uh, board here. Runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Obviously. Anyone who walks in predicts a murder, then that murder happens? Suspicious. You must be a new guest. 
or you're burglaring us. <laughs> I'm Rain, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. We did a reading. A group reading, actually. With a special tarot deck. The three of us get together and read the same cards. Bronwyn says it makes the whole thing stronger or more powerful or something. But I'm pretty sure I'd get the same answers just on my own. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Next victim? Whoa! <laughs> Hold on a sec, we don't even know if there's going to be a next victim or not. We'll do another group reading soon, and then we'll have a better idea. Mercury? It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves. I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Mercury? Sure. I'll just get it. It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Do you want it to ask you a question, Sam? Hmm. It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Hmm. Mercury agrees with you. It's nice that you're being honest with me and with yourself. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but it's the truth. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. I think I'll get the sign changed. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes.
princess, a lamb, young, innocent. Lambs get slaughtered though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already.